He's such a Sagittarius. Okay. So it's getting that you could be text fighting with somebody. Also, you could be confused about maybe another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or it could be any sign, but fire was just coming up strongly. And um, you could be unsure if you should let your guard down about this person that you're dealing with. Okay, whoa. Yeah, Eight of Swords. That's like, unsure. You guys could, okay, I feel like your hands are tied around about something. Maybe you are not around this person a lot. So you're like, you get an iffy vibe from them, but you're not sure because maybe you're not with them a lot. So maybe your hands are tied in a situation. Also, you could be overthinking about this a lot, or this could be their energy overthinking about you. Six of Cups, this could be a love from the past, or it could be a friend that turned into a love relationship, or this definitely could be a soulmate for you. You guys have a very strong connection. Maybe you feel, maybe not like in a bad way, or maybe it is, I don't know, trapped in this because you are, you do have a very strong connection with this person, but you do have your doubts, or they have their doubts, one either way. But um, yeah, you have the Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Strength card. So you definitely could be dealing with a Leo, but I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, somebody wants to work together with you. Maybe they want to like um, come to some sort of resolution about maybe what you guys are arguing about. Or maybe this is you wanting to come to a like some sort of, I don't know, make shit balanced and calm. <laughs> like this, yeah, I feel like this is you because you guys always want shit to just be cool, you know? So, okay. You have the Page of Swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have the Devil. So something here might not be right. Like if you, if your intuition is telling you that something's off, maybe it is here with this Devil card. Maybe they have some bad habits or something. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So somebody could be very focused on work, very focused on their selves. But you have the page of swords. So I do feel like somebody is watching. You could be watching their social media hard. They could be watching your social media hard. However that goes. And we have the king of swords. So maybe there's an air sign watching. But I gotta clarify the page of swords. Somebody's watching. You have the lover's card here. It could be a Gemini. But somebody is on the case. Like really investigating this situation. Maybe this is an outside person. Or it could be the person that you're dealing with. This could be you if you have your suspicions. Okay. Why is it not? No. I want to use different decks. Let's get those cards out. All right. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Mm. Okay. So, yeah, if you can feel stuck in a connection, you have the Ace of Cups. So maybe you just started a connection or maybe you guys have been together for a while. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Okay. okay, so yeah, this is mutual. You're dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have the King of Wands and the Eight of Swords, clarifying the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So you guys are matching energies. You guys both feel trapped in this for some reason. Okay, that's interesting. All right, why is the Six of Cups here? This could be a very strong connection, like almost like too strong with the Devil card. I don't know how that's a thing, but with this, it is. So you guys could definitely, I don't know, I feel like you guys worry about each other a lot. Like, a lot, the Eight of Swords. And it's almost to the point of becoming a burden because next is the Nine of Swords, which is like depression. So you guys overthink about a lot in this connection and it's both of you all right so you have the two of wands there is a decision here maybe to maybe you go oh gosh okay so maybe you guys haven't started the connection yet that you feel bound to you feel bound to make this happen the full card okay so you could be suspicious about a third party you have the three of cups somebody could definitely be suspicious of that or maybe it's them the other two of swords. This is why you could be uncertain about maybe starting this new beginning. Okay. I feel like there could be a lot of cross watchers watching this video because you both 
are extremely worried about what the other is doing. So that's why I feel like maybe you guys don't live close. But you guys don't, you guys both work too much and you don't get to, you know, hang out a lot or something. I don't know. Let's see, why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? I'm taking it. Okay, ooh, yeah, justice. Somebody is seeking the truth about the other person, and I feel like it is both of you. The clarifying the three of pentacles is the two of cups. So you guys definitely do have a very strong connection. You both are aware of this. But with this three of pentacles, you could feel that somebody else is involved. Mm. Nine of wands, yeah. So that's why your, your guard is up. Could be somebody that they hang out with, somebody that they party with. Okay. More. Ooh. Could be done with a Virgo. You have the Sun card at the bottom. But, ooh, God. Okay. So you have the Sun card, which is the card of Leo, Hermit card of Virgo. So somebody definitely could be keeping something to the suburb because you have the Seven of Swords right in the middle of this. So if you're onto something, you might not be wrong. So we'll clarify that. You, you could be. Maybe that's why this is like such an overwhelming feeling. Like maybe you have no evidence, but you just get the strongest feeling that this is not, something isn't right. Okay. Which is blocking you guys from having your uh, Ace of Cups, from like starting this relationship. Ooh, okay. So if y'all are dealing with Leos, clarifying the Seven of Swords is the strength card. Like that let's get more let's get more maybe you've dealt with um someone in the past doesn't have to be a leo maybe you've dealt with people in the past or maybe this could be a friend here but somebody yeah somebody's not on the up and up you're right could be a water sign also cancer pisces scorpio what about the seven of swords any more in the seven of so oh damn okay what the fuck? Maybe this is y'all. You got the queen of wands, so I'm sorry. This is a fire sign. If you're dealing with the fire sign, it's a no. Like, damn. Okay. I have the wheel of the year. So this definitely could be karmic. That could be why this relationship is, like, really strong with this devil card. Like, it's almost addicting, this relationship. You do have the strength card in the center of your reading. So this is all maybe to build strength. This definitely is karmic. Something karmic going on. You guys are in your, uh, each other's life for a reason to learn a lesson. Okay. I feel like nothing get by, gets by, by you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you guys, like, if you feel like someone's lying, you're like, you're lying. Like, I don't know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right by the Ace of Wands. This relationship can be very passionate. Like, you guys have a really great time together, you know, good sex, all of that. But you just feel like something's off. And something is okay. Right by the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Okay. We have the Page of Wands and the Empress. So you could be dealing with the Taurus or Libra, but I feel like this person could talk a lot about being abundant, about working a lot. Maybe about children. They could talk about how they want children or want to have a life with you. However, you still feel like something, you still feel the need to investigate further. Like they could work a lot, but I feel like you definitely still feel the need to like check it out. I, don't, I feel like you don't 100% believe them. There's just something you don't believe about this. Okay, clarify the strength card. Ooh, okay. So Ten of Cups, this person makes you very happy. You guys make each other happy. I have more Ten of Cups in the Strength card. Mm, okay. So I'm almost feeling like you have the Five of Wands with the Lover's card. You guys could definitely fight about either one, a Gemini, or two, you could fight about maybe this person has options. Because I do see... This lover card is a very sexual card. Also, it can mean like this person has options in love. So, or it can mean a divine partnership. It means all of that. And I feel like it's a little bit of all of that, literally, because you guys do have a very strong connection with the two of cups. Very strong. However, there is the five of wands here. 
So there's definitely something to fight about. I feel like with this page of swords still like on the lookout, you have no evidence. You just feel it. Okay, clarify the lover's card, the five of wands. Why is the lover's card here with the five of wands? King of Cups, okay, you could feel like they're putting their love elsewhere, like outside of the connection. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. Yeah, that's making someone really upset because, okay, yeah. You don't want to 100% commit until you get to the bottom of this. You could have Libra in your chart. This is very swords energy, like investigating, like trying to make moves. I, I see it. And plus you have justice up here. You could definitely have Libra in your chart or somebody could. You could be dealing with the Libra. Okay. Why is the page of swords here? Yeah, you're looking for the truth. Ace of swords. You're, you're looking for the truth. Let's see if we can clarify the ace of swords. What's the ace of swords? Why is the ace of swords here? Why is the ace of swords here? Okay. Oh, okay. Ace of Wands. Again, so the truth is they do feel very passionate for you. And they do want to, I feel like they move very fast. Mm. Also, I feel like maybe, okay, we have the Magician here. They could, maybe you feel like they're just here for sex. You could feel that. Magician here, you feel like they could be a little bit of a trickster. Maybe they're tricking you into believing something. Okay. you They could be tricking you into believing that they're moving. Moving towards you, moving away from you. You have the Six of Swords here, which is a card of moving. Why is the Six of Swords here? Mm, okay, yeah. Nine of Swords. So, they don't know what they want to do. They're overthinking it. And I feel like you're um, you're catching on to that. Yeah, Death card. They don't know what they want to do. And this is a complete secret to you. The Moon card. You don't know about this. I mean, you do know about this. But they don't think you do. Okay. Let's see. I want to know what this devil's about. Um, you know what? Use a different deck. We don't took all the cards out of this. Okay. okay. Why is the devil here for Sagittarius? Why is the devil here for Sagittarius? Why is the devil here? Yeah, this could be just way, 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 way overthinking to the point that it's affecting you. Like maybe I'm feeling mental health. It's affecting your mental health. Yeah, nine of swords. It's definitely affecting your mental health. You both are in the nine of swords. You both are like, this is so karmic because you both were the eight of swords. Now you're the nine of swords. And you, then you go be the 10 of swords. Shit. So you both are moving at the same. I feel like there's not good communication. When you communicate, I feel like you argue because some somebody's really defensive. Like you could say bring something up like a valid point, and they could be like, well, "Why would you think that?" Or like maybe they just don't reply at all. Like it's like I feel like it's like that. King of Cups. Yeah, so this love could be very addicting. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Somebody is definitely focused on material things maybe you feel like they're focused on material things more than um like more than you page of swords hmm. you could be dealing with an air sign or a capricorn but i also feel maybe an air sign i don't know maybe it's someone that has to do okay you can feel like they're messing around with somebody that like brings them stuff yeah, 
like almost like sugar mama type energy. You can feel like they're fucking with someone that brings them stuff. Okay. Like they love you, but they also love this stuff is maybe what you're thinking. Okay, clarify the page of swords. Hmm, the Hierophant. Okay, so yeah, they could be very, I feel like they're also very committed to themselves. Like they focus on themselves a lot, which is not a bad thing, but it could have a little bit, add a little bit of conflict to the connection between you two. Maybe there's not a lot of communication and that bothers you or that bothers them or something. So clarifying, the King of Swords is the, is the Seven of Cups. So this person could be an option for them, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Gemini energy. Um, yeah, they could be, you have two sevens here, so look up seven, seven, see what that means. But, um, yeah, somebody, they could be recognizing something. Also, maybe someone is investing in this person. Okay. Good. More on the King of Swords. But you might, um, somebody might cut out the options with the King of Swords. And they might stop investing. Let's see. Star card could be an Aquarius. But also, this is the truth about a situation and hope. So maybe have hope in this situation. Oh, okay. Three of Cups, yeah. Okay, if you feel like something's up, it might be. Yeah, it might, it might be. Okay. So we have the moon card. This could be you also. We have the moon card with temperance and the lovers. So you definitely have options as well, but so do they. And they're not telling you this with the moon card. Pisces energy, cancer energy. Clarify the moon. I really feel like they're not telling you about this person, but I think you already know. Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Y'all got me when you get to the bottom of this. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, so definitely could be an Aquarius. They could be hiding the truth from you. You have the star card, so they could be hiding something from you. Maybe somebody is famous. Maybe somebody like this. This could be you. This could be them, but they're hiding something about this star. Give me more on the moon card. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be a solid... This person could give them stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, this person could definitely... They see this person as very solid. Or maybe this is you. You see this person as very solid. But this is an issue regarding some sort of connection. There's an issue. So they might be putting an end to this connection. Somebody's putting an end to something. Let's clarify the death card. Damn. All the other signs are going to be max. I'm giving you guys a lot of time. This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> but why is the death card here? Universe, why is the death card here? Justice and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, they could be putting it into maybe something with an air sign or somebody gets the truth, you might put an end to this and move away and maybe towards something else. Six of Swords might. Okay. Let's get some advice for you. Universe, what, oh, hello. Universe, what is the advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? What is the advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? What is the advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Nine of Earth, okay, so the advice here is focus on yourself, focus on your abundance, because I feel like that's what this person is doing. This could also be you already doing this, and that is the absolute advice. Page of Water, tell who you're in a love connection with or somebody that you're going to be in a love connection with or something like this, tell them what you need to say. Pages are messages, so deliver whatever you need to say, just tell them. And the Hierophant, okay. So this is commitment. You have the Hermit card, you'll be dealing with the Virgo, but also, Virgos keep to their self. This is like a very self energy, very spiritual energy. I feel like commit to yourself, commit to your happiness. 
I don't know. Let me pull from this stack. Nice. What is an overall advice or hello? Religion and spirituality. Okay, so this could be maybe you guys disagree with each other on this subject. That could be another thing maybe you guys disagree about. Can I get one more card for Sagittarius? Okay, okay. <laughs> New exercise program. Maybe you guys, I'm also getting, maybe you guys have a business that has to do with that. But yeah, this is definitely focus on yourself and you are stronger than you know. So, ooh, and body changes. Okay, so I'm feeling that I don't know why I'm getting this from the ladies out there. Y'all could be working on your booty. Okay, but yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. Ooh, in retirement. Yeah, you might put something to rest here. You might leave something. You might let something go and then start focusing on yourself. Because I feel like, yeah, I feel like something here is going to end. Might not be this relationship. Might just be this, like, this devil, this behavior. But something here is going to end. And I feel like if you don't end it, the universe is going to step in and end it. Because you got a lot of, a lot of divine cards here. So... Yeah, anyway, Sagittarius, I hope this was a good reading for you. Um, if you have any questions or would like a personal reading, there is information down below on how you could get one. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your week.